Okay. Well, no, I didn't announce this. Um, oh, I should get the chat up on the TV. One second. Yeah, this is an unannounced stream, not a regular scheduled broadcast, and you'll know why in a second. Let me get my chat going on my TV. Bring that a little closer. Oh my god. Thrust 26 is here. That is a surprise. Um, just one second. One second. Didn't expect anyone actually to show up. There we go. There is my stream. Let's get the chat. Pop out chat. Twitch chat, there we go. Oh, there we go. Yes, yeah, more than one second. Um, okay, as you can see, impromptu, not wearing a branded video game shirt. It's plain white. Oh, is that camera at an angle? Yeah, a bit of a jaunty angle. That's a little bit more realistic. Oh, there we go. No Atari T. No. Yes, you're always here. Ice Post is here, too. Oh, my God. Sorry for waking you up, guys. Um, this is... Uh, answers popping up now faster. That's cool. Yes, you have already figured out the reason for this little broadcast, which is... An excuse to play Amoeba Jump. Um, no, it is, uh, it is also... Um, it's a test for the low latency uh, chat and uh, because um, Arena Foot was saying oh it's really long between typing and then it comes on the screen and I respond and it's this big huge loop because it's it because of the the buffering um, I'm guessing uh, the buffering that takes place between when I record it and it builds up a buffer, sends it out to you, so there's no dropouts. But I have a really good connection here. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad. So, we're going to do a test now. It was about 20 to 30-ish seconds before. Um, so let's do a test. Looks good. Everything's streaming. There's no choppy chop chops or dropouts or weirdnesses, because that's... That's really the main concern. Um, so, uh, when I say, uh, just arena foot type this. Actually, everybody can type this. Okay, get ready on your keyboards, okay? Now, I'm going to, um, when I say go, um, everybody type one. Like, pr get what, type one on your keyboard right now and get ready with the enter key or send, or if you're on a tablet or whatever, just get it ready with the enter key. So type a one. And, and when I say go, press enter, and then I will say, um, I, I will snap my fingers when the first one comes up. Um, and then I'll say the names after that. And I'll say the name too, but I'll snap my fingers in the first one that I see coming up. So everybody get ready, type a one, get ready with the enter, and Ready, go. There we go. Thrust 26 got it. It's about five seconds. Arena foot got it there. And that was, you know, seven seconds. Ice Posta, there was the other one. About 10 seconds, maybe. So that's a lot faster. So it was about five to 10 seconds as opposed to, you know, like 20 seconds. So that's great. It's going to be a lot better for um, the chat interaction. And now I'm going to play Amoeba Jump. <laughs> because I was really embarrassed on Wednesday that I did just terrible. I didn't even make it to the blue. And Erlen beat me. 
and I, oh, it's terrible, terrible, totally embarrassing. Uh, yeah, much better than 20 seconds, eh, arena foot. And uh, thrust 26, I saw the other ones in the chat later than mine. Yeah, I, I'm guessing there is multiple servers. Um, I suppose it's st still slow here on the East Coast. I'm guessing there's multiple servers because they're not going to run everything on one server. And it depends on which server you're connecting to because I'm sure there's relays to different parts of the country, different countries, um, but it's way, way, way faster. So that's going to be a lot better experience. Surprised you didn't pop in Night Guy in Low Res World. Well, you know, I don't want to do that outside of the realm of a, a proper show. Because I want to give it a proper treatment. Because it's, it's a very cool looking new game. But that will be on the agenda tomorrow. And I will add it to the list of games that, uh, that we'll be playing. And I'll have to make a graphic up for it, of course. Because I have to make the graphics beforehand and then you know post it on social media and make the graphics for the game um for the um for the screen when i put it up before the show uh east coast versus gulf coast versus west coast gulf coast i have never heard that before but yeah different areas yeah this is a great game but i was super embarrassed what did i make it to i didn't I made it past the white, but then I died almost right in the white area. Arena said, yeah, I saw yours first thrust. Yeah, thrust was first on this end, and then arena foot, then I supposed to. It was like five, seven, ten seconds. Way better. NSA takes time. Yeah, they have to, you know, run it through all their servers. It has to store on their hard drives. Um, the NSA, you know, they have to delete old messages off your, you know, cell phone records um you know old irc chats from 15 years ago takes time to you know overwrite stuff and they got to decide what to delete there's always people in the chat that never say anything but they always seem to be here like two seconds after I start streaming, but you guys got in here really quick today too, so I don't know. Maybe they're the NSA. Maybe they're just lurkers that never want to talk. I got a notice in my browser. Yeah, it's really good. They have a really good system going on Twitch for notifications, um, especially on like tablets and cell phones like Android and iOS, so I'm always alerted to the channels that I watch. See, I'm doing way better. I'm just more relaxed. I don't know. It was a pressure situation before. Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida are all part of the Gulf Coast. Ooh, and I am going down to Florida next month, actually. I've never been to Florida before. I'm going to Miami for reasons that I may or may not talk about. I'll probably talk about it, but not yet. It's nothing to do with gaming, though. Ah. But yeah, I've never... I've only been, like, to New York on the East Coast. That's about it. Um, obviously New York City. West Coast, I've gone all the way down to oh, California. Miami. Yep, going to Miami. I almost made it to the blue. That was, ugh. Let's do this. Boing, boing, boing. Somebody suggested that um, he make the spring sounds incrementally like higher each time you hit uh, multiple springs. I think that's a great idea. So it goes boing, boing, boing. Gives you like that incentive of doing the multiple springs, even though it's hard to do now. I think I can do like three, four, I think I've gotten once. 
That's two. No. Then they disappear sometimes. It's not even a chance to get them. One. Two. Well, those weren't in a row. That does, it doesn't count. But yeah, tomorrow's show we're going to be doing... What is it? Night Guy? No! Oh, now it's off the screen. Night Dude? Anyway, that platformer that has been posted in the Facebook in Facebook on the Atari Age Facebook and it looks awesome. So many amazing mechanics. I posted on my uh, Facebook as well. Um, and lots of cool plans in the future, right arena foot. Lots of, lots of things coming up. Also going to be doing interviews in Portland at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Now I have three people on board. I haven't asked a bunch of people yet, but I should get to doing that soon because it is coming up. But it's not like it's difficult to just, you know, take a couple minutes and talk to me on camera. Do a little interview about homebrew. I think you guys would like get a get a kick out of that. It's not too many people that uh, interview other people about homebrew on camera, so as far as I know. At least not about Atari 2600 homebrew. Oh my god. No, I haven't... Unless it's way past the blue, I have not encountered... Oh my god. I'm watching the chat. I haven't encountered the lightning invisible platforms. Because it sounded like he... In the... It sounded like he was thinking about doing it, or he did do it, when he responded to uh, that uh, that other person in the Atari Age forums. He seemed very amenable to that idea, and that sounds like nightmare, nightmare level. Um, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be hard to implement. You would just make um, the platforms black, and uh, change the color from yellow to black and of course make them the same type as the yellow platforms so that they don't disappear because that's it'd be too hard in a lightning lightning round um, um, and then make the uh, background instead of blue make it black and then have it pl flash uh, white and then you go okay there's the next platform jump to the next one super simple it's just color changes there's no well not not as simple as color changes you do have to set a random timer for x uh seconds and then change the screen color at that time so not not a huge leap of um not a huge programming challenge it is just timing and colors Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go to the right on this one. That one almost, almost disappeared. Uh, oh, you could interview Daryl Spice Jr. if you're going to Houston instead of Portland. I know. And Daryl was like, oh, I wish I was, was able to go to Portland. Um, I did meet him a number of years ago, but that was way before the show, obviously. And I already talked about this on another show where I got him to sign my um, Medieval Mayhem box. But he already said that he doesn't, he doesn't remember people because you meet so many people. Well, that was a mistake to go to that white one. There we go. Uh, we're on the white level. And it takes a while to get through the white level because there's no springs. You have to do them step by step and make it up to a thousand points. Ooh. You just take it slow on this all white part. Did I do four springs in a row? No. Did I? Didn't even notice. Okay, yeah, we're here. Almost there. 4,700. 48, 49. Let's see if he put in the lightning. He's not really good at, like, listing what he... Actually, he's pretty good at listing what he's implemented. In the last um, update, he just said he... Um, 
put the PAL and NTSC versions into one ROM so he doesn't have to um, make two of them. I think he implemented that with a black and white and color switch. Not sure how he implemented it. He didn't say how he did it. Oh, I could have got that. No, it was too high. Oh god, that was close. Getting there, 66. Let's just take a little... I was going to say, take a little breather there. Daniel Kitchen sending me his copy of my book in the mail to autograph. Oh, he's sending his book that he bought to you to sign and then send back to him. Well, that's very, very cool. Very nice. Oh, missed that one. Yeah, I can't wait for that... Uh new key, Keystone Capers train escapade game. <laughs> that looks really cool. Where you collect the different parts of the train and put them together. He'll have to change the graphics and the name, obviously. But the graphics... Well, the graphics of the guy, the train, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you can't keep the Keystone Capers cop dude. But that has a lot of promise. Like, it looks good for something made back then. But Activision was always at the top of their game in terms of game uh, design and graphics. Oh, what a mess this level is. It's all over the place. There we go. Ugh, hate that. Things get in the way of the spring. I'm playing with the Sega controller um, much better control, I think, than the arcade stick. Because it requires just a bit more precision, and the arcade stick, I, I feel, has too much sway back and forth to get that precision. It's just too, too slow rather than the, the twitchiness that this gives. My wife probably thinks I'm down here talking to myself, because I didn't tell her I was going to broadcast. Well, I didn't even know that I was going to broadcast. I thought I was just going to do a do a little test. But eh, I did want to do better at this... Damn it! At this game. I think he's going to make some sort of Wild Western video game out of Keystone Capers too. Yeah. It'll be definitely Wild West themed. And that could just be the first level, that train part. Yeah, let's go for the springs. Yeah! How many was that? I think it was three in a row. Maybe four. I'm doing better than on the show, which was terrible. I'll blame it on my... Because uh... I just came from the optometrist that day, actually. Um, so, my... You probably couldn't see it on the sh on the stream, but my irises were like huge, so I couldn't see properly. Oh my god, sparse! Hate that. Four it was four. Okay, awesome. Hope I don't have to give up again. Two, three, four. And dead. <laughs> oh, it left me with a big open area. Well, I'm glad this test worked out. Four? Five? <laughs> I lose track because I'm concentrating on like trying to... Uh... Oh, damn it. Chat is lagging a little longer. It's probably building up a little bit of buffer or there's like variable buffer just in case and it's probably a little bit of um, variability in case there's trouble so it's like okay um, if it senses any any um, lag on my part or 
or or stream um, slowdown on my part, it's gonna put me behind a bit and buffer locally. Um, actually, that doesn't make any sense because then there would be uh, frames lost. That'd be terrible. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was crazy. That was not good. Yeah, because if the buffering. Yeah, the the chat could the chat could slow down. That'd be a weird thing to buffer and slow down just typing. The longer the video, the slower the chat. Maybe it is just in beta mode. If you want to do another test again, we can do it right now. Okay, you ready? Everybody, get ready on your keyboards. Let's do test number two. So get put two, type two, and when I say go. Um, press enter, so give you a couple seconds for it to catch up. Everybody type two, and ready, go. I snap my fingers, see who wins. Is it I supposed to again? Or thrust? Camera, I think it was thrust, but I think thrust is gone now. There we go. Lord Monkus got it. That was five seconds. I was five, yeah. And a, I supposed to there. That was about. 10. Arena Foot says the video is freezing every bit, a bit every so often. Freezing. Well, it's hard to know whose end that is. Is the, um, oh, Arena Foot. Yeah, but you're typing something in between. Unless you're way, way lagged. I thought you weren't even doing the typing. So that, oh my god. So. I just joined, so probably the last left, left buffer lag, yes. Welcome, Lord Monkus, to a late-night impromptu broadcast with a white t-shirt. No Atari on it. No obscure computer chip on it. No Commodore 64 references. I have a couple new t-shirts coming in the mail. Uh, which hopefully will be here soon. But I ordered them from random places on the internet, so who knows where they're coming from. Coming from uh, usually the UK. I don't know why, but everything I order seems to be coming from the UK lately. Which costs a lot more money to ship. And it takes so much longer to get here. Way longer. So you're paying more for slower times. It's not a good trade-off. Oh my god. 29 seconds lag for you? So you were actually ready with that too? Let's try that again, Arena Foot. But that's round trip lag. Because I have to say it, lag there, it has to come to me, I go, got it, then it has to come back to you in the video. So you have to kind of divide that by two if you're judging when you see your chat coming up on there. Um, if you want to do it again, Arena Foot, that would be good. Um, so get ready with th three. Everybody can get ready with three, but I want to see Arena Foot's um, lag just to see how long that is because it seemed really long. Um, oh, it died. Okay, ready? Arena Foot? Everybody stop typing. We're going to do test number three. Okay. Ready? Everybody ready with the three? Ready with the enter button? Okay. Ready? Go. Lord Monkus, eight seconds. 11, 12, 13, 14... 15, 15 seconds for Ice Bosta, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, ugh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 33 for Arena Foot. Wow, that is laggy. So I don't know what's going on there, but definitely it has improved 
for at least at the beginning. And then gotten a little bit worse over time as the stream has gone on. But as long as there's no ill effects, has anybody else noticed any uh, delays or frame drops or video freezing um, besides Arena Foot? Because that's the only concern. I mean, if, if there's nothing but benefits to being part of the beta testing for the reduced lag, then I'll keep it on. But if there's any uh, issues, I don't want to be playing with fire here and messing up the stream. Obviously the YouTube... Ooh, I should post uh, yesterday's YouTube. Uh, yesterday's show. Because I can do that now. Oh my god. Because I'm an affiliate partner with Twitch now. Because I have enough people. As part of their rules, you're not allowed to post your streams until 24 hours after you stream. Not that I'm making uh, even one cent <laughs> off being a Twitch partner, so I may just opt out of that program so that I can uh, post it at the same time. Because it's not like I'm playing the new newest PS4 games or something and getting 10,000 people watching. having to interrupt the stream saying, thanks for the donation, thanks for the donation, thanks for the donation. Oh my god. Um, Arena Foot, uh, yeah, I saw the other two post three before you even asked. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. I got one second of buffer there a minute ago, but I'm also downloading something at the same time, Lord Marcus. I suppose everything's perfect. wonder if I restart Twitch page, it would help. It probably would. Um, it would probably reset your buffer down, because it sounds like there is buffer on my end and then also on your end, because some people are way faster than you, and I don't know where you guys are. I always assume everybody is from the U.S. unless otherwise told to me. I may have to stop soon, because it's bedtime. Time to go to sleep. Not yet, but what time is it? Uh, it's getting there. I'm not doing much better. I'm doing a little bit better than the other day. I'm also talking a hell of a lot because I'm all by myself. And that's what you have to do. I haven't had a lot of practice with that because I've always had somebody else here. But. This is an impromptu broadcast. So, hence by myself. Yeah, try that now, Arena Foot, and we'll do another test just for fun to see if that. That's actually informative. If um, restarting the stream gets you a lower latency, I'm gonna. Get, yeah, you can't. You can't um, re-guess your landing spot in this game. You have to go for it. Either go for it or don't. Ugh. Oh my god. I hate that when you catch your foot on a, a sh one of these shelves, one of these landing spots, and then it totally messes you up because you're like, oh my god, I got caught. And now you're somewhere where you're totally not expecting to be. And you're still trying to go for whatever landing spot you're trying to before, and then you're like going in the opposite direction, you're pressing too hard, and then you fall and you die. And everybody's sad. Sad. Whoop. I have to go in that blue. You're back. Okay, so let me get to a safe place here. Okay, everybody, this is test number four, so get. Uh... Oh, it did reset it. There we go. Great, so you want to do the test? We'll do test number four. Okay, everybody, stop typing. Get ready for test number four. And I'll give you less time because you know what you're doing now. Okay, ready with four. And go. Three, four, 
There we go. Four seconds, arena foot. Six, seven. There we go, Lord Monkus. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ice Bosta. That's great. Okay, everybody's good. It's just, um, just arena foot was getting pretty laggy, I guess. I'm like, not guessing. It was. It was 30 seconds. It was out of control. Because probably if your stream is stopping or stuttering, it was probably building up your buffer. That was terrible. Your buffer on your end so that it wasn't dropping out anymore and it might have reduced your um, bit rate or your resolution um, to compensate for that as well so that it wasn't dropping out. Depends on uh, how good your connection is and how busy your neighborhood is, how many people are streaming other stuff down your street. <laughs> Uh, I'll just have to close the window periodically. Yeah, if the viewer gets buffer, you get it restarting at the point where the buffer happens so you don't miss any content. Refreshing Twitch restarts the stream so you get no biffer lag. Damn you, biffer lag. Yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, uh, the Twitch stream would restart um, so that you didn't miss anything. So it would go back in time so if you got, um, it stopped for 10 seconds and it had to, oh my God, rebuffer, it would, you'd be 10 seconds behind. And if it did that repeatedly, it would be 10, 20, 30 seconds behind. You'd always be behind. Of course, you always could just stop it and start it like um, Arena Foot did. Or I don't know if there's like a, a button to like go live now or fast forward because it's just live right this it's not a oh, can't, it's not like a, a scrolly bar like in YouTube where you're actually watching something or let's say like like on your your DVR or PVR when you're watching a live a live show right and then you pause it and you go to the other room like it's still recording and then you get to commercials and you can fast forward. Oh my God. You get to commercials and you can fast forward through those commercials because you paused it before. But I don't think Twitch has that kind of, oh my God, has that kind of functionality like skip forward, skip backwards 10 seconds. It's, it's either live or it's not when it's live. You can't uh, rewind unless I'm mistaken because I've never even tried that. I just sit and, and, and watch the things when I'm watching it on Twitch. Can anybody confirm that? Is there even a pause? Because there'd have to be a pause for that to make sense. And there is no, there's no pause. I, I know that because I've wanted to pause a Twitch stream, but they don't want that. They want you to sit there and watch it live. I don't know. Like I, like it, it, I just saw that when the amoeba is halfway on the screen on one side, like say I'm jumping on the left here and then I cross over because there's wraparound in this game I cross over through the right to the left let's say that and so at the same time you can see me on both the right and left and I've seen that on, on some games but most games have this like dead zone but my question actually is um, when you can see the the sprite on the left and the right. I think I know the answer to this. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it. When you see the sprite on the left and the right, because it's wrapped around, that uses up two, two sp sprites, right? You can't... There's no wraparound functionality. 
on the 2600 as far as I know. You'd have to draw that with two separate sprites. Like, they don't give you a bonus of automatic drawing on the left and the right because some of the some of your characters off the screen uh, I'm afraid I'm disappointing everybody watching this is just the worst the worst uh, that would be for I supposed to yes I supposed to would know that I supposed to is playing a different game while watching this, apparently. Because <laughs> he's playing 3S. I have not played 3S before. I don't even know what it is. I don't think I... I'm pretty sure I don't have that game. No programming skills here, Arena Foot says. I have the smallest amount. And none, I can't say I've made anything for the 2600 except like a stable kernel that I've typed in from somebody else in a, tu in a tutorial and slightly altered it to make it have like different colors or something. It's pathetic, but I haven't had um, time to dedicate to it yet because I have lots of ideas for games and... More coming all the time. I just thought of another uh, idea for a game um, the other night. But it's never a lack of ideas for games that hold people back from making games. It's actually the, actually the making of the game is the hard part. And committing to it and following through with it because... It is a long process, especially the playtesting. There's some pretty dedicated programmers. Oh my god. In the Atari Age community. You at page 154, volume 1 of my book for 3S. What? <laughs> it's a better 2048 game. Okay. Okay. That's what it is. Oh, and I was going to ask you, I was just going to type it to you, but since we've got this live chat, Arena Foot, when did you need that map for Anguna that I drew? I think I'm just going to quit. This is terrible. Three Dots by Thomas Yench. Oh, I think I'm too tired. It's been so hot here. What is it? 26 and a half degrees in here. Oh, the fan's not on me. That would help. See, I'm playing better already. And I need some water, too. I'm starting to get a headache. And that is not something I want before going to bed. Uh, by the end of the year, it'll be in the 2018 year in review book out January 2019. Okay. So I will get on that. Pretty much it just needs to be redrawn and then verified. And I'll just go through my video for verification. So that shouldn't be too hard because it's all drawn out on paper already. Still working on the Holiday Homebrew book. That is cool. Because there's definitely a lot of holiday games for the 2600. Very popular. Especially since Atari Age kind of made it a thing to put out those homebrew uh, holiday collection games of like kind of mini games are super cool. I'm trying to hold off on playing those games until the holidays. But I already messed up with Toy Shop Trouble because it's too much fun. 
but I'll probably revisit it and play all those games, all the holiday games um, in uh, December, during the December broadcasts. Okay, back to the whites. Oh boy, uh, I was a bit sparse for a second, but I made it through. A bit risky. Damn it! Oh, and Gingerbread Man Two. You played? Is that a holiday one? Was it even holiday themed? It doesn't didn't look holiday themed to me. Not by the cover. Not by the back. You can make Gingerbread Man any time of the year. It doesn't say anything about holidays. There's nothing about holidays in here. There's no, no, there's nothing. I didn't consider that, but it could be included. It could be included in the holiday because that's usually when they're made, especially gingerbread houses. The bite before Christmas. Yes, that is the one I am talking about. Boing, three, oh, nothing there. Couldn't get a fourth one. 68, 68 titles. Whoa, maybe I'll make all of December um, holiday themed. That is a lot of titles. Oh, trouble here, there we go. 68, never thought there was that many. Wow, are you talking, are you, you're including hacks then, I'm guessing because I could never guess that there would be that many homebrew games. Could be. Oh, that was a lucky break. Oh, my goodness. Whoa, I caught my foot on that one. Usually gingerbread cookies are associated with Christmas. Yes, and gingerbread houses. That is true. Whoa, I caught my foot on that one too. Oof. Get some kind of lucky breaks. Oh boy, I think I'm gonna have to wrap around for this one. Hate when I have to do that. Because you don't know where you're coming out. It's like blind jumps in video games when you're jumping down to a platform and you don't know where the platform is. That is the worst. Oh my goodness. Sparse. Sparse. Okay, back to the white level. I just need to make it past the white level. Which I've, I've only done once in this stream so far, right? See, so now I'll have to post this stream too, tomorrow. Because now that I've played this <laughs> game long enough, it's an actual stream. Just an impromptu one. Oh, that went pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. <sighs> yes, hacks included. That makes sense. Even more than 68 if you count each mini game. So you're not counting the mini games. 5206. Uh, and you're not counting the mini games. Wow, individually. I would have counted them individually because they're games, but I guess you're counting cartridges rather than cartridges rather than games, which kind of makes sense because that's what you're focusing on is releases and not not games. Counting carts, yes, or ROM releases. I'm sure not every single one of them made it to a cart. Or maybe they did. Maybe they did. What's the typo on page 154? I can't see anything and I'm a typesetter. <laughs> Uh-oh. Time to turn in your typesetting card. Oh, is it time to give up? Let's play two more games. Let's 
when you say that, when you say two more games, that means it's, it's like, it's go time. It's serious time. It's like you have no lives left. You have to concentrate now. I'm not, because I'm looking up at the chat. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, let's say two more. That was not, that was no good one. Because I was looking up at the chat, which I should not do. <sighs> Maybe I'm just bad. Maybe I'm just terrible at this game. I'm not. Very good with the keyboard. <laughs> which I shouldn't be playing on the keyboard. I should use the real, real system when I play. So I stop practicing on the keyboard because... I can kick ass with a keyboard, but that is not going to work so well when streaming and using a different controller. It's like playing Breakout with a joystick, or Breakout with like a um, a paddle, and then all of a sudden you have to play, play Breakout with a joystick, and you're like, uh, yeah, I'm sucking because this is not how you're supposed to play it. Or it's not how you practiced, even. And you're not supposed to play with the joystick, either. Because that's a terrible way to play it. I'm telling James to look at page 154, volume 1. Info for a, a 3.S. Okay. Well, I am busy. But I do have the book right above me. There we go. Focus. <laughs> uh, page 154. There it is. 3S. 3 dot S. However you pronounce it. Threes. I don't know. Yeah. It's a 2048 game. Yes, yes. I do not have that. I probably wouldn't buy that if I had the option. Or it's probably, it is still in the Atari Age store, right? Yeah. It's just not, it's just too simplistic. I don't know if I'd get my money's worth out of it. If you know what I'm saying. But who knows? I haven't played it yet, so I don't want to. Oh, I'm already up to 4,000. Probably because I paused. I felt like I was starting a new game. Oh my god. I hate when I catch my foot, especially in this, this level. It's too scary then your safety net disappears. Or at least the, the white platform. <laughs> Not really a safety net at all on this. <sighs> fan face? I don't have any... F oh, I do have... Do I have a fan in the other room? I might have a fan. Okay, this is the last game. Last game. Because I can hear rumblings upstairs of people starting to go to bed and by people i mean tanya oh she coming down oh, maybe oh i hear rumbling yep the alarm on the house is being set she's gonna go what are you doing why are you playing games <laughs> distracted. Hello. Yes, I'm broadcasting. <laughs> she just laughed. <laughs> I was testing something out, but then I started playing Amoeba Jump poorly. If nobody but Arena Foot uh, joined, probably wouldn't have kept playing. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> gone to bed. Ah. Okay. Seriously, it is now the last game. 2.15 a.m. Obviously, you don't need to work in the morning too early if you're up at 2 15 a.m yeah it's just past midnight here well obviously 15 past midnight 
because all the time zones are synced except for some very strange half hour time zones. Three PM to eleven PM. As you noticed, I didn't stop because this game is so addictive. It's like just one more, because the games don't take long. Like even like if you get to eight thousand points, it takes like I don't know, five minutes? <laughs> it doesn't take long. So it's like the definition of like I mean it came from a uh a uh, cell phone game, like a handheld game, so those are the two. What I found the bug after the cart started being made, so I didn't know when or if version 1.02 was on the cart. Oh no, that's terrible. Yeah, there's been a couple games like that where it's, changes have been made. Like Wall Jump Ninja. There was a bug in Wall Jump Ninja. A terrible bug on the cart where it didn't keep your high score using the. Oh my god. Using the Atari Vox. Which was very annoying for somebody who has the top score in the world, like me. So I have to use the, um, oh my god. So I have to use the ROM when I play, t when I play, uh, Wall Jump Ninja. Otherwise it doesn't keep the scores. Actually, it keeps the scores, it just won't write them. So if I plugged in my Wall Jump Ninja cartridge, it would show my top scores, but it would never replace them. I'm just not that's it I'm done I'm just not concentrating I'm so hot it's so hot here still 26 um, so yeah we'll be uh, broadcasting tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m. with Darcy Darcy will be here I'll be there we got some awesome new games to show you guys that um, probably you've not seen before um, yeah, so, um, uh, stick around and, uh, we'll see you in, uh, not too many hours, uh, 14 hours. Um, so see you at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I'm getting tired. So, um, so thanks for hanging out and doing the testing with me, Arena Foot, Ice Bosta, Thrust. And who else was in here? There's some other people. Lord Munkus. And Thrust, yeah. Not bad for an unannounced, unannounced uh, little broadcast. Um, so thanks a lot. And Atari has come in to say goodbye and good night. Meow. Um, so good night to everybody. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.